Okay, welcome to my little easy cap tutorial. Um, I don't like long tutorials more than anyone else, so let's just go ahead and get to it. Um, the folder you should download, it's in the description, is this right here. It's called capturingfiles.zip. Go ahead and open it and extract it. I use 7-zip, but you can use anything you want. Okay, and then go ahead and open the folder. You should see a folder called capturing files. Open that. And then you should see four things here. Um, three of them you don't have to worry about right now. The only one you need to open is install the stuff in here first. Alright, now, any easy cap drivers here in case you need it. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to install it, but it's pretty simple. Um, Huffy of Video Codec, you need to install this. There's a .inf file. Right click it. Uh, right click it, and then go to install. You should go ahead and do it, and then you're done. Alright, back out. Go to the lame ACM MP3 codec. And then same thing here. Right click the INF. Go to install. Okay, next. Back out again. Alright, there's three things here we need to install. Start with AM cap. Just typical installation. Don't run it yet. Close that stuff. Just finish it. Next, AVI synth. Uh, just don't need to change anything here unless you want to. I choose to associate with AVS with Notepad. It helps just for accessibility. And just install it. Just finish that. Next is the X264 codec. Go ahead and uh, just install that. It's real fast. Just finish that. Okay, so after you uh, install all those, go out into your start menu and you should be able to find AI cap from there. Alright, you'll get a screen that looks like this. It should say Syntech in the lower corner. If not, choose different devices. Alright, once that's chosen, go to Options, go to Video Capture Filter. Make sure this is set to NCSEM. Then go to Image. Make sure that's that. Alright, now, composite video is what you want to use if you're using the yellow cable for video. And if you want to use S video, make sure you choose that instead. Like, I always use S video, it's much better quality. Alright, then just hit OK. Alright, you should be able to see whatever it is. Right now, I've got a Wii set up to it. It's in, it's gray because it's in sleep mode. Okay, so after you've done the AM cap stuff, go ahead and go back to the capturing file folder you downloaded. Um, you should see virtual dub 1.7.7. Open that. And then open virtual dub.exe. Alright, with this program, go ahead and go to file and then go to capture AVI down here. Give it a second. Now, if you've done everything right so far, you should see your, your source right here. Um, if you don't see anything, go to device up here. Make sure that Syntec STK is chosen. Um, okay, so first thing you want to do is go to set capture file. And then just save it to the desktop for now. Name it whatever. So I'm just going to name mine video test. Um, next, go to video. Go to capture pin. Make sure this is set to 30. Make sure this is set to YUI2. And then make sure this is set to 720 by 480. And then just hit OK. Next, um, just click the middle of the video and then just press C. Choose Huffy of B2.1.1 and then just hit OK. Next, click audio. Make sure it's set to digital audio interface, USB audio. And then finally, just go to capture, capture video. Okay, and then it should capture. If you don't see a preview like this, go um, stop the capture, and then go to video, change preview to overlay or overlay to preview, whatever it is. If that still doesn't work, change it to no display, and then capture, and then stop capture. It just virtual does a little picky with this, and then go back to either one of these two. So it should record just fine like this. Um, once you're done recording, just go to stop capture. And then what you're going to do is just close virtual dub. We don't need it anymore for now. Now on whatever file you made, mine's video test.avi, right click it, go to cut or control X, whatever you want to do. And then go to your uh, the folder you downloaded again and go to deinterlacing. And uh, uh, this is old. Um, change this to video.avi. 
it has to be exactly video.avi all lowercase and then you should be good to go alright now reopen virtual dub um, and then go to file open video file okay so uh, back out to um, whatever it is capturing files the thing you downloaded go to dnr basing and then you'll see the video you just made along with a full up file called script.avs click that alright now your video should be up what that did was it deinterlaced it it got rid of all the little lines that show up okay so from here what you want to do is go ahead and make a start and stop time drag this to wherever you want for the beginning i'm just going to choose right here and then press this little dot right here it marks the beginning and then choose your ending i'll just choose right here and then hit that alright now what you want to do is go to file go to load processing settings and then um, go to the folder you downloaded again There's wh this is where the fourth one comes in hd.vcf click that it should automatically configure everything to be hd except for youtube and you should be good to go just go to save as avi and then name it whatever you want i'll name it that whatever and then it'll go ahead and convert. You can change the processing speed. I'm not gonna because uh, I'm recording right now. It'll script the recording, but you can turn off these two to bring up the speed a little bit. And then just let this go. When it's done, um, you can do whatever you want with it. You could stick it in Windows Movie Maker. You can directly upload that to YouTube, and it'll be in HD. So you should be good to go. If you do want to edit it with something, make sure you stick to the HD guidelines like this whatever you have right here if you upload this straight to YouTube it's gonna have HD but if you want to use an editor um, look at the um, video description and you'll see what to save that video file as in order to show up as HD and that's it